water. It's one of our most precious resources. In the Darwin region, almost all of our water is supplied from the Darwin River Dam. It has served us well, but it's operating at its capacity. To meet future residential demand and our goal of becoming a $40 billion economy by 2030, securing our future water supply is critical. We are focused on supporting jobs for Territorians and are planning for the long term. With funding from the Australian Government, we have completed a detailed business case which has assessed a range of options to increase water supply in the Darwin region. This comprehensive assessment has identified the best solutions to meet the short and long-term needs of the Territory. The short-term solution to provide Territorians with more water is the return to service of Manton Dam. Manton Dam can supply approximately 7,300 megalitres a year and was Darwin's primary source of water until the construction and commissioning of the Darwin River Dam in 1972. The return to service project would include the refurbishment of the existing dam infrastructure, construction of a new pumping station and pipeline, and construction of a new water treatment plant. So what are the next steps? The NT government is working with the Power and Water Corporation on the best approach to deliver the project, which will include the detailed design of the infrastructure components, stakeholder engagement, and an assessment of the environmental and social impacts. The long-term solution to supply more water to the Darwin region is the Adelaide River Off-Stream Water Storage, or Arrows, project, located around five kilometres directly north of Lake Bennett, adjacent to the Adelaide River. The proposed storage reservoir is made up largely of a natural ridge formation that can hold water. With the construction of two main containment barriers at the low points to store the water within the natural reservoir. Water is then extracted from the Adelaide River to fill the reservoir in our wettest months, meaning that there is no infrastructure that will dam the river. This solution provides a far more environmentally sustainable infrastructure solution compared to a traditional dam. Once extracted from the reservoir, the water will be treated at the proposed Strauss Water Treatment Plant before distribution to the region. With accelerated project development, the time frame for delivery is between 7 and 10 years. What are the next steps? The NT Government is currently working with the Power and Water Corporation to continue a range of project development activities, including a water allocation plan for the Adelaide River catchment, an environmental approval process, further stakeholder engagement and community consultation. Water security is critical. A new water source is needed to support economic and population growth in the Territory. Manton Dam Return to Service and Arrows will provide long-term water security, regional resilience and unlock economic growth in the region. As a major water infrastructure project, Arrows is an innovative and sustainable option that minimises the impact on the environment. And importantly, there is minimal disruption to our lifestyle.